This is Ronnie Brooks of Farm Journal Media. I'm here today with Fred Whitford. And Fred, you're, you're talking about a topic that I just think is, is wonderful and every farmer needs to hear about, and that's keeping the trailer connected to the truck. And it's just really practical. And I'd like for you just to tell us, how did you get interested in addressing this topic? A great question. So what we've tried to do here uh, at the at Corn College is that we've spent a lot of time talking about transportation. So securing your load, poly tanks, and, and those kind of transportation issues. This is an offshoot of this. As you do a, a publication extension, then people ask you about something else. And so what happened was I came across a website that list that was showing all the accidents as in this picture that you have right here and if you look at this picture here you've got a runaway trailer uh, a runaway trailer on this car mm -hmm. where they had to uh, dig out the person and in this case the guy was injured real bad but he, but he lived through it and so I began to ask questions about what why are these trailers coming loose and in most of the audiences 20% of the people in any room that I've talked to, farming, non-farming, or what what have you, um, that 20% is of the trailers coming loose, and so we started asking questions. God, that's a lot of that's a lot of trailers. Why? And so that led us into that led us into this particular as an example of looking at a truck and a trailer. And if you look at a truck and a trailer, it's a heavy-duty truck. Mm -hmm. You've got a nice trailer right here. Why would these trailers be coming loose? Yeah, that looks, I mean, that looks okay to me. Yes, and so a point here, just to make a point. So it can actually pull a good load. Notice that the receiver that's built into the truck can only hold 7,500 pounds. That what happened was from this truck got scaled down going from the truck what it can pull down to that receivers and that's really what we were talking to to people today a take-home message is to make sure that that receiver when you buy a truck matches the truck's ability to pull something now, you said that information is not in the manual uh, this 12,400 is in the manual mm -hmm. this 7500 is on the uh, is on the uh, the receiver and there's a tag and if you okay. look on that tag it's right there built onto it it will tell you 7,500 pounds. Okay, and again, the reason why the 7,500 or the receiver is so important? Is because this is what's actually gonna hold the tongue weight, and it also has the ability to, that's what it, you're gonna be, it's gonna be holding on to your trailer. It's the part of your truck that's carrying the weight and the stress of being pulled. All right. And so in this case, I went, not quite half, but you can see I went from 12 to 7,500, which means that I, if, I can't utilize the power in the truck, the pull, because I have something that's not designed for that truck. Okay. So what we were telling the audience was, is when you buy a truck, you make sure that you get a receiver that matches your ability of your truck. Because if I try to pull 12, 4, or 75, that receiver can break. We showed pictures of them breaking, mm -hmm. bending, and those kinds of things. Well, you even gave us, I think you gave a statistic, like how many out of, how many trucks out of... Yeah, you know, what percentage of trucks have a problem with a hitch or something like uh, that? We asked most. All, we asked all audiences how how many of you have lost a trailer, and the answer has routinely been twenty percent of the audience have raised their hand. Twenty percent. I 20%. think that's phenomenal. That's just. I mean, just unreal. So it starts right here. The insert is what has the ball on it or whatever your attachment, and that's what I'm going to put into my truck to hold it. Notice that on this insert, it's 5,000 5, pounds. So in this case, my weak link right now is my insert. Okay. Because I'm less than my receiver, but look at this ball. The ball is only 3,500. So in this example here of this truck and trailer, you can see the, how the numbers line up, and you can see that I'm all, I can only pull the smallest number. It's 3,500. Okay. And so what we were trying to get the, uh, the, uh, the dealers and the growers to, 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 to do this at home, go back and look at it, it takes five minutes. Uh, all this has got the tags, look on it, and then what I'd like to see them do is say, oh man, this is not good. So in this case, I can make a quick fix by changing my insert in my ball to make it closer on this end than on the back end. 
All right, well, Fred, thanks so much for your time. I, I think it's a great session and, again, a great way to help farmers stay safe out there. Thank you. Well, I always enjoy being here, so thanks for having me.